Hey YouTube, well, it's Christmas Eve, and I would like to wish you all, first of all, a Merry Christmas, Happy Happy Hanukkah if it's already passed, and all the little celebrations that you guys do. Well, I bring this question to you guys. I want to work on a project, and I like to call it retrofitting an LED backlighting screen to a standard CFL backlighting screen. Um, now, there are many benefits to an LED backlit screen. First of it, which you're in, you don't have an inverter board. For those who don't know what an inverter board is or what it does, it's simple. It's a it's a little circuit board, about yay big. It's really thin and small. And it's in every single laptop that uses a CCFL um, backlighting. My laptop here that I'm recording this on actually has a CCFL. Now inverter boards are notorious for failing um, because what an inverter board does is actually converts DC current to high voltage AC current to power the light bulb. When the inverter board dies you have no backlighting um, and that's actually the inverter board always dies before the, the light bulb um, unless the light bulb is faulty in which that will actually die first but in most cases inverter board always dies first. Um, and I see it countless ways. Um, an early sign that an inverter board is going to die is the fact that sometimes when powering on your machine, the backlight never kicks in. Sometimes when you power it on, it kicks in. You know, it's like very inconsistent. Another early warning sign is where your brightness levels seem to be very dim. That would be another early warning sign it's going to die. Well, the other... Um, pro to having an LED backlight screen is the fact that it uses less power. Why? Because you're taking the inver inverter board out of the equation. So now it no longer has to convert DC to AC. So you're getting a direct current from the battery. And plus LEDs use less electricity than a CCFL. Um, and the other good positive is that LED light bulbs last longer. They last um, about 100,000 hours, which is equivalent to 11 years. <laughs> so pretty much you, your machine, uh, the backlighting will actually outlive the life of your laptop, which is good. Um, now, my question is, is it possible, and I think it is possible, to retrofit a LED backlighting um, LCD screen onto a laptop that originally came with a CCFL backlit screen. Because um, if you're taking away the inverter board, that means you just plug in the DC current directly into the LED backlighting, um, and the screen should be the same exact connector. So what I think is, is that because I have a Pavilion DV7T, the newer models of the DV7T actually have LED backlighting. So, in theory, one could actually purchase a replacement screen for the newer models and be able to put it in an older model and take away the inverter board and actually plug the power directly into the LED backlighting system. Is it possible? Who knows? But that's why I'm asking you guys, YouTube. I'm asking if there's someone out there who knows that this is possible because I really want to do it. <laughs> Because um, LED backlighting systems are cheaper, they're more reliable, and they're better. Because now you don't have to worry about the bulb warming up. So you can quickly, um, the moment you turn on your screen, it will instantly, the snap of a finger, kick in at its p specific brightness level that you chose. Whereas I notice when I put this on the brightest setting, when I first turn it on, it takes about a minute or two for it to really get bright and crisp. So, um... Yeah, another quickie. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to start calling my little rant like things quickies. Um, for those who read a lot of advertisements or see advertisements about what they call LED televisions, there is no such thing as an LED television. The, the common mistake, and this is actually false advertising, by the way, those televisions should be described as an LCD television with... LED backlighting because um, LED televisions don't exist. There is something called OLED, which is organic light emitting diodes, which is still experimental and is not suitable 
for um, consumer electronics. I mean, the only exception are very small screens like the Zune HD has an OLED screen where you could view it at any angle possible and it will look exactly the same, whereas an LCD doesn't. Um, and that's the thing is that these te televisions are very misleading when they advertise it. A second problem is the fact that they charge more for the LED backlit um, TVs when it actually costs less to make than the CCFL bulbs. So why are they charging more? I don't get it. it. Uses less electricity, costs less to make, less parts. I mean, it just, I don't get it. So I think honestly, those companies out there should either report exactly how much they're paying for these uh, LED backlighting systems and actually pass on the savings to their customers because LED televisions don't cost any more to make than a, a CCFL. They cost less. And I know this for a fact. Um, and the technology has been out for years. Um, I mean, it just now they decided, hey, let's put LED backlighting on a LCD screen. So that's just a little thing you guys should know about. So uh, yeah, thank you YouTube, and I, I really appreciate the support. I have I have no idea why, but lately my numbers have jumped up. Plus, as I promised, the 40th subscriber was DJ. Hold on a second. Hold on. Uh, I just gotta pull it up here. The 40th subscriber, and this is his name, is uh, DJ Mind Mind. I guess it's a uh, DJ. M-I-N-D-E. Uh, again, I'm really bad at pronouncing these weird things. So, congratulations, you are the 40th subscriber. You get absolutely nothing. Um, no offense to you, but as I said, maybe the 100th, 100th subscriber might get something. Again, I don't know what the hell I'm going to give away, but it's probably going to be something stupid or something cheap. I have no clue. So, yep, thank you all for the support. I'm currently at 45 subscribers. So, again, once I hit 50, I will name the 50th uh, subscriber um, in up current videos. So, thank you, guys.